Hey, what's going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 as we're just one day away from the release of the first beta of iOS 16. Now, of course, there have been some reports and some rumors regarding the features that are coming to iOS 16, and it looks like it will be quite a big update with a bunch of very useful features. So in this video, I will talk about the top 10 features that we know of that are coming to iOS 16. Starting things off with new apps, there will be new stock apps that are coming to iOS with iOS 16. And there will be also a lot of updates on the current apps. Like a lot of apps on iOS haven't actually been updated properly in years now. Like with iOS 15, we got an update here on the weather app. It is amazing. It's actually a brand new weather app with iOS 15, but a lot of other apps are just basically the same for years now. Let's say the calculator app, it actually misses a lot of features. So with iOS 16, we will get a lot of updates on the current apps and new iOS apps as well. Moving on to the lock screen, there will be a much better lock screen with iOS 16. According to Mark Grumman, we can expect a brand new lock screen that is coming to iOS 16. This was actually a rumor that was talked about with iOS 15, but it looked like Apple has pushed away this update and now it's finally coming with iOS 16. So when you look at the lock screen currently on iOS, it's not actually that useful at all. You will have, of course, the normal things, the clock, the date, and you will have two buttons right here you have the flash and the camera and you can actually not do many things on the lock screen it looks like apple is updating the lock screen this year and it should be much much better next up are new wallpapers which according to grumman will be wallpapers for the lock screen with widget like capabilities so you won't actually be able to add widgets like this on the lock screen but you will have wallpapers that are designed specifically for the lock screen that will allow you to do different things. Now this is a report again from Mark Grumman from Bloomberg who is a very very trusted source when it comes to Apple related stuff but we don't exactly know what he means and what exactly we are getting. We just know that there will be wallpapers with widget-like capabilities that you can add to the lock screen of your iOS 16 device. Next up is the always on display. Now this is really interesting. We have been waiting for this feature, wanting this feature for years now. It is finally coming to iOS, but there is some bad news as well. This feature is only coming to the newer iPhones. And now the current new iPhones, the iPhone 13 Pro and the 13 Pro Max, but it will actually only come for the newer devices that will be released this year. So only the iPhone 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max are getting this feature, the always on display. I know this is really, really disappointing for a lot of people who have especially the newer devices. You have the iPhone 13 Pro or the 13 Pro Max or even the 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max, which all of them are amazing devices, but the technology on the display is not there for the always on display. They will need the display that will actually drop down to one megahertz in order for this feature to work. So always on display is coming with iOS 16, but only to the new iPhones that will be released this year. There will be big changes on iMessage as well. According to Grumman, iMessage will become more like a social messaging app. Just like you have DMs on your Instagram or any other social app that you use, iMessage is getting a lot of enhancements that will go that way. And according to Grumman, especially on the voice message aspect. So expect a lot of updates to iMessage message making it more like a social app. And something really interesting that Mark Grumman has stated regarding iOS 16 is that there will be new ways of interacting with the system. Now a lot of people are talking about this and a lot of people think that these will be the new interactive widgets. So we have here some widgets from Widget and you can see what they could look like. Maybe you have like a control center widget right here that allows you to just turn on and off stuff directly from the home screen without having to invoke the control center at all. So that would be pretty cool. And if you, have, of course, you can have, of course, a lot of different widgets with which you can actually interact and do stuff directly on the home screen. So this new way of interacting with the system that Grumman is talking about might be the interactive widgets. Now on his report, he talked about this. But the only thing he said is that there will be new ways of interacting with the system and we don't know exactly what that means but we're supposing it is the new home screen widgets which now will be interactable. 
also we're getting brand new notifications with iOS 16 there will be redesigned notifications so completely new system of notifications with iOS 16. This is also just like the lock screen feature this was supposed to come on iOS 15 as well even though iOS 15 had a few updates with the notifications like the scheduled summary that's really cool of course an amazing feature but we're expecting to see a total redesign of notifications on iOS 16. A really interesting feature that is coming to iOS 16 is crash detection. This has been reported a while ago and it's something just like you have the fault detection on the Apple Watch that should be a new feature coming to iOS 16. So crash detection, it will work on your iPhone as well as on your Apple Watch and of course hopefully it won't happen but it will just actually detect a crash and of course just call the emergency services that's really cool you know if you have just been like reading different articles at the apple watch the fall detection has saved a lot of lives and this will actually be much much better of course a lot more iphones are out there than the apple watches and that will help a lot of people on the health app they're all expected to be a lot of new features as well new health tracking features are coming to ios 16. this again according to mark grumman we will get a lot of updates on the health app on the iphone as well as of course on the apple watch even though the health app is not coming to ipad os or mac os we will get new tracking features on the health app with ios 16. And there will be a lot of new accessibility features. These are actually reported by Apple before like two or three weeks. They reported about the new accessibility features coming to iOS. We can expect a live caption. So your device will automatically produce live captions in real time for literally any audio that comes out of your iPhone. And that's really, really cool. We will get apple watch mirroring so you will be able to mirror your apple watch to your iphone and also door detection like devices with lidar scanner which is the one the black one at the cameras on the back of your iphone will be able to detect doors using the magnifier app these are some really cool new accessibility features that are coming to ios 16. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. These are 10 new features that are coming to iOS 16 that we know of. Even though we're probably not getting a major redesign of iOS this year, we will get according to Mark Gruman, like amazing enhancements across iOS. So expect a lot of the current features to be updated and be way more useful and way better with iOS 16, but also expect a lot of big new features coming to iOS 16, even though unfortunately it looks like iOS won't completely be redesigned, but again, it should be really, really good with a bunch of new features and changes that are coming. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Let me know down below in the comments what do you think about iOS 16 and will you install it once it gets out to the public testers. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And of course, more iOS 16 videos from tomorrow on. Thank you guys and I'll see you on the next one.